students let us study today the use of the ups and the battery connected for it so this is the ups uninterrupted power supply ups and these are the batteries connected for the ups just behind the ups there are two wires are there one black and one red is there so the red is connected to the positive terminal of the battery black is connected to the negative terminal of the battery this is the back side of the ups and again four wires will come so uh, two wires connected to the keb connection that is the connection coming from the uh, meter and the other one is uh, output of the ups yes how the ups will run so i will show you first i will off the keb connection over here so ups is on at the front end of the ups what it is showing you just see it is showing mains off and ups on yes again i will on the keb connection i will off the ups now so what the display it shows you just see it is showing mains on ups off that it must show student let us study how the battery reacts for that one if i off the ups so the charging and the discharging of the battery you can see from top to bottom it is charging and discharging of the battery from top side to the bottom side that is the battery is consuming the keb is off battery is consuming that's what it indicates from top to bottom it indicates so i will on the keb now and off the ups see the battery consumption that is from bottom to top so it indicates that the mains is on so the battery is charging that it indicates students so we have got eight batteries in our lab that are connected in a series so taking each battery each battery is of the voltage of 12.75 volts that i have written and it is connected in such a way that it is in series connection the first battery negative second battery positive second battery negative third battery positive third battery negative fourth battery positive respectively it is connected in series the seventh one i will explain the seventh one negative connected to the eighth one positive so eighth battery negative wire that is the black wire connected to the ups and the first battery positive that is the red wire connected to the uh, ups so each having 12.75 volts so the theoretical calculation 12.75 into 8 one or two volts we will get and the practical one i will show you how to uh, measure the voltages and what voltages we are get finally that also i will going to write yes that i told this is the red wire from the ups it is coming so it is the first battery so the positive terminal we should give positive terminal it indicating the positive terminal and this is in series i told so this is the negative terminal so we have to connect next positive again coming this negative uh, third one positive we should connect like that in series so all the voltages will going to add on and finally so here the black wire is there so positive and negative if i measure the voltages over here the combination of all the eight that means 12.75 into 8 one not two volts i will get theoretically practically how much we will get i will show you so this is this is the black i have connected and this is the red see here how much the voltage i have got in the meter 100 and 
फिफ्टीन पॉइंट फाइव आई विल गेट सो दीज आर द प्रैक्टिकल रीडिंग्स इट मे डिफर फ्रॉम द थेरोटिकल वन ऑन सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज वन बैटरी आई विल एक्सप्लेन सो द ईच बैटरी आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू इट इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सेवन फाइव सो दिस हैज गॉट द सिक्स सेल्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स ईच सेल अप्रॉक्सीमेटली टू वोल्ट्स दैट मीन्स सिक्स इंटू टू दैट मीन्स ट्वेल्व वोल्ट्स बट थेरोटिकली इट इज शोइंग ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सेवन फाइव वोल्ट्स दैट मीन्स वी मे टेक टू पॉइंट वन फाइव लाइक दैट वोल्ट एज सो आई विल ओनली टेक फॉर वन सेल हाउ मच इट इज शोइंग सो इट इज शोइंग अप्रॉक्सीमेट ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू नाइन वोल्ट्स इंस्टेड ऑफ ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सेवन फाइव इट इज शोइंग 12.29. So that I will going to write on the board. 12.29 volts into A. So 12.29 volts. As the battery is getting discharged, the current has gone. So 12.9 into A. So that all 12.29 we will going to add into if we make A. So I will get total 98.32 volts. Actually, it should show. 102 if the current is in on condition if the current is in off condition as the battery is getting consumption the load we are given so the battery is getting slowly discharged so we are getting less voltage that is 98.32 volts as yes, here there is one example you can see here practically in each battery there are totally 6 cells each cell theoretically measures 2 volts so that we can check it with the help of multimeter first you should open the caps like this then check in multimeter and see the reading initially one side it is showing 0.6 other side it is showing 1.2 so near it is 1.3 near it is 1.9 total so total it is 2 volts approximately then this one 1.8 1.9 you can see here 2 and again 1.9 so approximately 2 volts for each cell we can measure from the multimeter so this battery is in a good condition now you can check another battery for the condition can measure the voltage as we did for the previous one so initially we are getting 0.6 here you can see it is showing 1.4 so this is good this is in a good condition next you can see for the next cell it is showing 1.09 so it is in a bad condition next it is showing 1.9 it is in a good condition Two, it is in a good condition. Only this one is showing uh, one, so it may be in a bad condition. So here, uh, in this battery, we will see one green line and one red line. So the green line, if uh, the indicator of the battery is above the green line, the battery is in good condition. If that indicator is below the uh, red level, so we have to fill it the cell with the distilled water. So I will remove one cell. So I will show you practically how how we should held. So this is the indicator of the battery. So if it is crossing the green line, so it indicates that the battery is in good condition. if as we goes on using the battery so it is coming down down so if it is below the red line we have to change the distilled water we have to fill the battery with the distilled water that is the battery maintenance so above green no problem below red fill it with the distilled water